Morning guys, it is morning number five of our travels and morning number one on the mountainside. It now is about 11 o'clock. We are awake since like eight or so. When we woke up, it was fog, very thick fog and we couldn't see a thing. And since we do want to do hiking tours out here, there is virtually no point in hiking if there's thick fog, because we can't see where we go. The maps we have are rather accurate, but then we might just be too stupid to read them. So we decided to stay in um, and have the fog clear, but I suppose quite soon we will set out uh, for a little day trip. So we packed a bit of food and water into our backpack, left our tent behind and started our day. So it finally cleared up. The weather is rather beautiful now. We don't really have a clear target for today, but our uh, aim is to, if possible, go down to the loch. And then our second idea was to go up Ben McDuy, the uh, tallest of the mountains in this area. However, it is almost entirely covered in snow and we are like not at all equipped for snow. Currently there are three hikers on the uh, wall over there trying to hike up there. They are making progress, so uh, we will uh, watch them today and if possible at all, make the same route tomorrow. So this down there, the ridge over there, is the way the rangers yesterday in base camp suggested we take in order to camp at the very far end over there on the loch. I think it was a good idea that we yesterday decided not to go down there because the descent looks rather horrific. So I think it was the sensible choice to stay up where we stayed. But maybe, maybe we'll find a way down to the lake, to the loch, uh, on a different route. Maybe later on today we'll be down, but we'll see. No promises. Hey guys, so we have been hiking now for about an hour and a half-ish. It's midday, we're currently having our lunch with this absolutely astonishing views behind us. Our plan for now is to uh, hike down there somewhere and uh, have a look how far we get and then uh, hopefully enjoy the river or even uh, the loch. And of course we also made use of the snow. While walking down this hill I got shot at with a snowball and Christian even tried to bury me underneath an avalanche which however luckily didn't quite work out. Gratulation! I just crossed that river down there and uh, unfortunately my shoes got wet. Oh, well, that is no reason to despair because I do have quite awesome socks. Socks that do repel water. Therefore, my feet actually should be dry. So all is good. So we're at the second descent down to the uh, loch, which looks like that. It is one massive field of snow all the way down there, and we decided it would be a very silly idea to attempt to walk down there. We have no idea how deep the snow is, we have no idea how good the snow would hold us. So we now decided to give up on the idea of going down into the loch at all, 
and we'll now just walk across there wherever we think it is safe from one aisle of rocks to the next and then have a look where we get when we walk there and further on. Right, so we have been hiking up this snow pass now and we got a fair bit of snow to go before we will be able to go on the other side of the mountain and down again where our tent is. Even though the way down to the loch was, uh, well, blocked by snow. I think we did a nice day tour and we'll have a look what we do tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is evening now, uh, about six o'clock I think. No, almost, seven o'clock it is. Um, and during the day, several bad things happened. First of all, I lost the lens cap. Also, there's the slight chance that tomorrow morning we'll see a nice sunrise. And if there's a good sunrise, of course, I will get out the camera for that one. That is that from me so far. Stay safe and see you soon. I decided that the Night of Horror deserves its own video because this one is already quite long. That will be coming out on Wednesday and then on the weekend we will resume with our regular schedule and the last video from Scotland.